Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got a short video for today, man. I really gotta rush. R -r real talk, real talk. Yeah, get off me, get off me. I gotta go, I gotta go. All right, yo, 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 we got Young Thug trying to get out of a ticket, man. We got Yo Gotti stunting this huge net worth, man. I'm, I mean, I don't think he really stunted it. We also got him, uh, folks are saying a little re-snitch on himself. We're about to take a look at that real quick, man. We got Shaq give it with a message to Jason Kelsey. You know what I'm saying? Kel uh, not, 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 that's not the one that's dating Taylor Swift. That's the other one, Travis. I think his name is Travis? I don't know his name. Uh, we also got him a little beast, up uh, little beast. Little baby blessing to Popeye's workers. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If it's your first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button and feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that, all right? That notification bell is waiting for your tap, man. So go on to give a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription. You're like, slow down, bro. No, no, no I can't slow down, man. I tell you, I'm in a rush. I got to go. Listen, workers at Popeye's were busy deep frying your chicken, right? When little baby pulled up to the window, two cars ahead of yours, okay? One of the workers at the Popeye's in Atlanta posted. This is what they posted. They said, so little baby... She says, so oh, Lil Baby just came in and blessed my whole store with $100 each. Close quote. <laughs> Folks are being like, oh, oh, how, just $100? I'm over here looking at them like entitled ungrateful bastards. Sh look, look, I can't believe these people showed up in the comments and was like, oh, that's it? What you mean, oh, that's it? How much you tip the workers? People tend to look, people tend to act like the artists are entitled to give them large amounts of wealth. You know what I'm saying? They, look, 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 look. They hopped in a profession that happens to be lucrative. Now that they're in it, right? That does not mean you get a handout, okay? Now, if they choose to give you a handout, it's nice and all, but they are under no obligation to just hand you the papers, okay? They, they're there to hand you the music because that's what, that's what the job entails, okay? But they are under no obligation to give you papers, man. You didn't earn the money. They did, Okay? Look, 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 they got to bounce around from place to place. They can't even sit down. They constantly on the move, can barely have one partner to be intimate with and share their deepest concerns with. Why you think what's his name was caught roughing up the bishop? You know what I'm saying? It'd be sad, man, and lonely. You like this leg. Why do I strangle the macaque? And look, you like, I'm not famous. You, you like, in fact, I'm down to less than 200 bucks till the, till the first. Uh, well, you know, sometimes it be that way, man. You know what I'm saying? You got, look, you got no excuse, okay? But the celebrities do not owe Popeye's workers 100 bucks, okay? Now stop roughing up your bishop. Listen, uh, Shaquille O'Neal had a very strong message to Jason Kelsey. I, uh, somebody sent me this picture, and I was like, yo, this is really insightful, man. But but, but I lost it, right? Because uh, I'm not smart enough to have saved it. I mean, come on, bro. Like, you can you can get it together. I, I still got it right here. I right, boom. Let me just screenshot this. All right, this is, uh, Shaquille had a message. His, his message to, um, uh, his message to, to Jason Kelsey was, he said, <sighs> Enjoy your family, brother. I lost my family and I, I didn't have anybody. You got the ring. Lost my whole family. <sighs> I'm in a hundred square foot house by myself. <sighs> Close quote. That's um that's uh Shaquille O'Neal's retirement advice, man. And that's really that's really that's really traumatized, man. Every now and then the celebrities they'll pull back the curtains on their glorious lifestyles and they'll show you the raw meat footage part. Of their lives and it, it tends to be super depressing that man say he in a hundred a hundred thousand square foot house by himself See, that's what i'm saying some people some people will will throw away the world just to get a big house but then they'd be in the joint by themselves wishing they had a person it's not about what you have man people that are dying never never um lament what they didn't get they lament the broken relationships that they have you know what i'm saying uh Listen, Cameron has explained why he's scared to sleep with Erica Badu, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some of y'all are like, well, I ain't scared. Well, take a listen to what Cameron had to say about it. Take a listen real quick. The show before, but I told, uh, what's shorty name? Um, Andre 3000, baby mom. <laughs> Erica Badu. Badu. You know, that she's a homie too, but I said I told nigga she can't get nowhere near me with that pussy. <laughs> nowhere. That shit she be doing to niggas is crazy. Niggas be regular up until they, they fuck up. They yeah. start wearing turbans. Colorful yarmulkes, socks. Yeah. Yeah. The tie-dye shirts. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> she has a nigga dressing like the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to chill. But as far as like... You got to realize, like, I, I don't know Dre. I met her before. She's cool. I don't know Lori Harvey. I've seen her before, but you got to realize. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look, man. Buns can do that. Buns can do that. A lot, a lot of people get, they get transformed when they, when they get. That man said, that man said, wear tie-dye clothes and a yarmulke and a turban. 
Hey, look, man. Um, yeah, look, my understanding, the way I look at it, man, when you, when you, when you, you know what I'm saying, when you have intimate relations with a person, you become one flesh with them, man. And I think that there's a part of them that becomes like you. So when you sleep around with a lot of people, I think you could just become a mess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like that's almost what I feel like I see. I see people that sleep with a lot of people, they like, they be all over the place. Like, they, and, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's something deep about because think about it, man. You know what I'm saying? I I personally believe that sexual intimacy is reserved to um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's reserved for an intimate partner that you can get intimate and deep with and have deep discussion on a deep level with. But you're doing it with everybody. You're doing something that's supposed to be intimate with one person. You're doing it with multiple people, and then you you, you don't feel fulfilled at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's two minutes. Uh, let me let me let me head over to my shout outs real quick. I got a quick video, man. I ain't playing, man. Oh, they go the guy that 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 posted my car. He posted my car on Facebook. Talk about oh, I ran all the damn stop signs. I'm like, why was you following so close? How you got how you got a picture of me running all the stop signs if you wasn't right behind me, bro? I went on his Facebook page. The, the man got nothing but witchcraft on there, man. I'm like, oh, I'm bad, but you got witchcraft on your page. Uh, shout out to let me see who my shout out to I love, love, Joel. Joel, my man, say yo, you make sense to live. That's what I'm saying. That's what I be trying to tell people. Okay, shout out to you. Colfax said, uh, this is your first. This is my first time seeing this channel. She said, you're so right. It's really common a response to act out in such ways when you haven't healed the tr from the trauma, especially SA. Y'all know what SA is. She said, along with um, not having proper support in the level of programming that's out here. It's so deep. You can fall into glorifying these types of symptoms into permanent behavior. Ooh, that's heavy right there, man. I'm going to have to reread this one again tomorrow when I got a little more time. She said, um, that that really is it. Uh, thank you for speaking on this um, with the strong arm. And she said, yo, man, new sub with the with the healed up heart, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love everything about what you said. And and um, even the emojis that you use, man. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen anybody use that healed up heart. That's what I'm talking about, man. Shout out to you, Colfag. Appreciate you coming through. All right, look, 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 we got to wrap this up. Listen, um, uh, folks are saying Lil Reese snitched on himself, okay? I don't think he quite did, but take a look at this video real quick of Lil Reese. Because I'm getting locked up for that I ain't even do, bro. Y'all talking about what, what, what a proof at? Y'all got proof of me up in the on somebody, bro? You think we would just be doing this for our health or for fun? You think we're just doing this? Y'all ain't got, why y'all ain't take that then? We don't know what it's at, where it's is it? It's in our house, that's our oh, Okay. Go get it, it's in our house. The same is in our house. Okay, the same you pointed at The it? same I pointed at her is in the house. Yeah, but you just said you didn't point that I ain't saying I pointed at her. I said the same that y'all saying I pointed at her is in our house. Okay. Cause y'all tell me I ain't got no Go ahead and get in, man. She got a in her house, that's what I'm telling you. I'm a black man just like you. I know. I know, but I, I, I don't. I don't point guns at my pregnant. Have a seat. Hey man, get in the have truck. Get in the truck. Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. Just talk to me. I'll let you, man. I'm talking to you. I'm I'll talking to you, you right now. I'll let me, man. Ain't get in the car. Person, man. Ain't that type of okay. ain't like that, bro. Oh man, he said a whole lot, man. And you know they'll 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 twist it up, man. They'll they'll man they'll do some kind of they'll do they'll do all kinds of gymnastics with the words that he was using. You got to be careful. You know what I mean? When you talk to the when you talk to the fuzz, you got to be careful, man. They'll twist it up on you. You know what I mean? You be you be looking all kind of crazy. Listen, uh, one person one person came in the comments and said because fans are dumb, the person um, the person saying he pulled a gun on them has the gun in their possession. He is basically saying if they have the gun, how did he pull it out on them? Because who points a gun at someone then gives it back? Okay, because um, a lot of people were saying that he he snitched on himself, but it's like no 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 no. He's essentially saying something different. Somebody else saying, bro, the definition of snitching is getting someone else in trouble or arrested. Please stop with the false meaning. Somebody else said, oh, he sounded like Mickey Mouse. I'm like, they must not know the man got shot in the neck. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised he's even talking. Okay. Uh, somebody else said, um, I understand what he's saying. He's saying if they go into her house and search the house and there's no gun, then he never possessed one. Um, yeah, but I think they need a warrant to do all that. Anyway, uh, I don't think, I don't, I don't know about that whole snitching on the self thing. I mean, I don't know, like, it's still, they, they, I guess because rappers make such a big deal about snitching. Everybody wants to catch one snitching. You know what I mean? Um, cause then it's just like, oh, you're a hypocrite. Yeah, you know I'm saying like like that's the worst thing that they could be in the world. They 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 confess about murder, but you want to catch them on this other thing. Uh, oh, oh oh by the way, Yo Gotti, listen. Um, uh, Forbes have sta has stated that um, according to Forbes, Yo Gotti, who has Money Bag Yo Glow Real and Black Youngster on his roster, he, he is now worth one hundred million bucks. 
okay? Um, and he said that he got his financial advice from none other than Jay-Z, his mentor. He said, his business acumen is evident in every move that he makes, breaking the mold of the old guard definition of an executive. That's what he said. Um, that's what that's what that's what Jay Z said of uh, Yo Gotti skills. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's interesting, man. That's very that's very fascinating. 100 million. I'm mad that they, they watching they watching the numbers. You know, I I googled our net worth, and I I'm just here to tell you. When I googled our net worth, I'm like, that ain't it. You like, is it more or less? That ain't it. I'm, I'm telling you, that's not what it is. What what I saw, I was like, that's not what it is. You like, well, what is it? It ain't that. Uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's all I can say. That's not it. That's not it. You like, well, are you mad about it or are you sad about it? I'm just saying it's not it. Gosh. And finally, I tell you, I gotta, I gotta hurry up. What's my time? Like nine minutes. I right, listen, listen. Um, Young Thug has tried to get out of a ticket. Yeah, you've done it. I've done it. Young Thug has done it. But, but the way that this dialogue played out with Young Thug and a cop, it was very interesting. Take a look, real quick. I think he was super very nice about it. But this must have been right before he got roped up, roped up. That's probably why he was trying to avoid it. So he like, I'll race you. Well, look, I'll race you. Imagine you, imagine you were driving by, you saw a young thug and a cop running, running down the street, racing. <laughs> You'd be like, what the hell's going on? Why does it look like, why does it look like the cop is running away from young thug? It would look like the cop is running away from young thug or it looks like the cop is chasing young thug. Um, it would be wild. It would be wild. I, I, uh, Thugger, he couldn't have took you up on that race. 
Uh, but look, we are, I think once once cops have their mind, like once they pull out the paper and start writing, I don't think it can stop at that point. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I apologize for the short video, man, but I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take some. I gotta take some. But but you know what? You know what the end of um, Young Thug's video reminded me of? Uh, so it's what it remind me. That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. You like you stupid. I know. I know. I just want to uh, end this video with a smile. I right? thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.